Developing in Kansas City, Kansas tonight, the FBI today arrested former KCK police detective Roger Golubsky. The 69-year-old faces six civil rights charges. The indictment alleges he sexually assaulted two victims between 1998 and 2002. Golubsky made his first appearance in federal court today in Topeka. Fox 4's Reagan Porter was in the courtroom when he entered a not guilty plea. Roger Golubsky's court appointed attorney entered a not guilty plea on his behalf. Golubsky did appear in person in court here this afternoon at the federal building in Topeka. When he spoke, he was very matter of fact and Golubsky did not say much. Golubsky was wearing the same blue t-shirt and shorts he had on when he was arrested by the FBI Thursday morning. Judge Rachel Schwartz said the former KCK detective faces six charges of deprivation of civil rights. The indictment says Golubsky sexually assaulted two unnamed victims between 1998 and 2002, which includes aggravated sexual abuse and kidnapping. Golubsky pleaded not guilty. The U.S. attorney made a motion to put Golubsky behind bars until the trial. A pre-trial detention hearing is now scheduled for Monday. Also in court, Golubsky's attorney expressed concerns about his client's health. He said Golubsky has heart problems, renal failure, and is insulin dependent, making detention an added challenge. If convicted, Golubsky could face life in prison. Reagan Porter, Fox 4, working for you. Fox 4, Sia Johnson continues our team coverage tonight. She joins us now live from Kansas City, Kansas Police Headquarters to break down why the FBI made this arrest. Tia? Yeah, Lauren, there have been complaints for decades about Golubsky, but no one has been able to pin them on him. Today, court documents say the former detective used his power and authority to make women have sex with him. A seven page indictment tells the reason a former Kansas City, Kansas detective is behind bars. Court records say from 1998 to 2002, Roger Golubsky used his power and authority as an officer to violate two women's civil rights. Golubsky faces six charges of deprivation of civil rights for those accusations. The documents go on to say on or about May or June of 1998, Golubsky made a woman have sex with him, sometimes in his car without her consent. His actions included aggravated sexual abuse and an attempt to commit aggravated sexual abuse and included kidnapping and an attempt to commit kidnapping. The 69 year old is also accused of doing the same thing with another woman between August and September of 1998 and December of 2002. Golubsky is also accused of framing an innocent man for murder in 1994. A lawsuit filed in 2018 accused Golubsky of forcing a sexual relationship onto then 17-year-old Lamont McIntyre's mother, Rose. But when she refused, Golubsky framed Lamont for a double murder. The lawsuit also claimed other KCK supervisors knew about it. McIntyre spent 23 years in prison for the crimes before a judge vacated his convictions. The lawsuit was settled with the Unified Government of Wyandotte County earlier this summer. In a statement, the KCK Mayor Tyrone Garner said in part, quote, Today's arrest may bring comfort in the short term, but this is not the end. I stand by my commitment to support and welcome any independent outside investigations into any allegations of criminal misconduct by anyone with the unified government. Other agencies are responding to the arrest as well, including the KCK Police Department. Chief Carl Oakman said in part, quote, This indictment is an example that no individual is above the law. The department will continue to cooperate and offer any assistance needed by the FBI as this case moves forward. And Golubsky retired from KCKPD in 2010, then went to Edwardsville Police Department, where he retired there in 2016. Lauren.